This was written after a series, like a week, of conversations and incidents. You'll know what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> a series of letters I've been meaning to send. Dear curious white people, I may be friendly or smiles and I am certainly open to your ignorant questions, but personal space is still a thing. Do not touch my hijab. Shit takes effort. <laughs> On behalf of all hijabis, yes, it does get hot in this. It is 30 damn degrees. And thank you for complimenting my color coordination, validating me as one of the good ones based on my aesthetics. I do not appreciate becoming the sounding board for your criticism of those that don't quite fit the moderate criteria. Dear feminists, I am one of you, so back off. Stop lobbying for women's right to choose and questioning their choices, saying they're not the same as your choices, therefore they are not, they're the wrong choices. Stop denying white feminism. Whilst your suffragettes were out throwing themselves in front of king's horses for their right to vote, your sisters of colour were being written out of history books, aiding your men in monumental achievements, raising your children and cleaning your toilets so that their children didn't have to. Don't tread on other minorities in the hopes that you've climbed high enough for the majority to see you. Minorities become the majority when they help each other up. Don't tell me you are glad to see me marching beside you fist in air like these issues don't affect me, like I am here to support you and your struggles, but am I not also a woman? Like my faith cancels the fact that my ancestors birthed the revolution you seek. Like I am too minority to wage war against the patriarch. Dear misogynists of all faiths and ethnicities, I am still human. Don't scowl when I tell you I am a feminist. It does not mean I burn my bras and practice misandry. Get over yourselves. Don't tell me you believe in equality and in the same breath tell me you fear for my safety, explaining that I, as a woman, have more to lose. Irony should be your middle name. And congratulations, you've managed to commandeer one of the few systematic institutions that transcends religion and ethnicities. I will not tell you to picture someone hitting on your sister the way you hit on me, degrading and delegitimizing your mother the way you do me. I will not associate myself with a male just to reason with you to respect me. It is not a negotiation. Dear mum and dad, I stopped being your reflection the moment I started forming my own opinions. Stop shoving me in front of a glass panel telling me to see your values as my own. Stop hoping I'll magically become a product of your environment. Parental manipulation wears off more and more with unanswered questions. Please recognize that while you grasp onto the familiar, I'm busy tugging my hijab out of the hands of the ignorant, trying, to internalize, trying not to internalize inferiority and incompatibility, humanizing myself to both your community and broader society, explaining to feminists and misogynists alike that that being both a practicing Muslim woman and a feminist is not a contradiction. Mum, this shit is hard. <laughs> being both an insider and an outsider, whilst being an outsider and an insider, whilst being none of and everything of what I appear to be, and I won't apologize for it, because I'm busy not apologizing to them.